For this next step, we need to tie the shock cord onto the engine mount before we slide it into the body tube. So you're not going to do all of the shock cord, you're only going to do part of it. And what you're going to do is you're going to tie one, one end of the shock cord to this loop. And I'm using a slip knot here. Well, I thought it was a slip knot. <laughs> Let's try that again. There we go, that's better. Okay, so that one's right there. And now the length of the shock cord, um, put the tube down by the centering ring, stand it up and go about two to three inches taller than the tube, bend it in half, go back down to the next ring eyelet right there, and then just cut it off probably about an inch longer than that. So I cut it. To cut it. I just fold it in half. Grab my exacto blade, and then just kind of do a sawing motion. I got a nice sharp blade there. Now the rest of this we'll save for later when we put the parachute on. So this one here again, we'll do another slip knot. All right, just like that. And then I want to find the middle where it hangs evenly, like this. And then I want to take the shock cord. So that's my tip. Take the shock cord and just make a, an overhand knot right there. Remember, that's the tip right there. And pull that up. And this is the loop where we're going to attach the, uh, the parachute to. Uh, in the meantime, I'm going to take all that shock cord and just stuff it inside the front end of the tube. And now my knots, I want to make sure that they don't come loose ever. So I'm going to put some glue on those knots and kind of work it into the knot. There's one. There's two. All right, so I'll just stuff those in for right now. And now this, I want to test fit it into the tube, but I don't want to shove it into this end. Um, I want to shove it into this end. What I'm worried about is this flat area right here on the front end of the fin. If that's too tall, it's going to bind in the tube and make it hard to push in. So I'm just doing a, a fit check right now to make sure that I can put um, the tube over the top of these, the tabs on the front end of the fin. And as you can see, this is kind of tight. So <clears throat> I'm just going to sand those down. See, I'm just sanding down the black part here. This is all internal, so you won't see it anyway. And I got some rough grit sandpaper, so it should go pretty fast. Okay. All right, so that's going in. Remember, our uh, back centering ring um, can still slide off. And I'll just keep it on temporarily. And we're going to do a fit check into the front end of the tube, or the back end of the tube. It's kind of binding a little bit as I'm getting here to the front. So I'm going to sand those down a little bit more because I don't want to have any binding there. All right. That looks good. The ring off 
let me put that ring back on. Okay, now, now I'm gonna put glue inside of the tube, um, just right in front of the slots. So I'm gonna use my wood dowel. See, I'm just keeping it spinning, trying to keep the glue on there so it doesn't get on the table like it just did. And I'll look inside and spread glue around in there. Trying to work fast here, so the glue doesn't have a chance to dry. Now I want to get the back ring inside too, so sometimes the uh, you have to lift up with an X-Acto knife to get it in. Just go around the perimeter. So at this point, only the front ring has been glued on. And what I'm doing here is I'm checking for gaps along my fins. <clears throat> because ideally we want to glue these down, but we can't glue from the outside because everything's already painted. So we're going to have to glue from the inside. And so <clears throat> I'm going to pause here and then I'll show you in the next video what I'm going to do. I'm going to make you wait.